So in smaller businesses and in test labs, uh, you've probably heard the term gold image or master image. It's where an IT professional will create a either a virtual hard drive, which I'm going to do, or a physical hard drive that they then install all the updates to any applications they want. Then they sysprep it so that they can make a copy of it and use it to deploy machines. So this is a way that we can do that. I'm going to demonstrate that right here in Hyper-V. And the reason I'm going to use Hyper-V is because over the next few months in my lab, I'm going to deploy a lot of Windows Server 2016 virtual machines. And I don't want to have to go through the install process each and every time I do it. So what I do is I went to new virtual machine. I'm going to say next. This is going to be my master server 2016. Uh, let's see, data center disk. Okay, so that's what I'm going to name it. There we go. And then I'll say next. I'll go to generation two. Next. I'm going to give it a bunch of memory just so it installs quicker. Here I am going to need to give it a virtual switch. I've created one here that leads to the internet, so I'll say next. And then at this point, I'm actually going to browse out. I like to keep all of my virtual machines inside a specific folder. So as you can see, I created a folder here, Master Server 2016 Data Center Disk. I'm going to go ahead and put these files in there. I'm, this is my virtual disk. I'll create that. I'll choose Next. Come out here. I want to install. I already have, as you can tell, I have the... ISO downloaded and on my machine. So I'll go ahead and choose next and I'll choose finish. Now it's going to go ahead and create this virtual machine for me. You see it there. So I'll go ahead and connect to that virtual machine. And then real quick, have it begin the install. So it'll go ahead and do the install via Hyper-V. So from here, uh, it's just a standard install. So I'll go ahead and choose next, install now. It's going to bring me up to where I need to put in my key. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, put in the key, and then I'll restart the video. Now from here, you want to choose the instance. I'm going to do a desktop experience for this. So I'll choose next. That's going to give me the full GUI interface in my master disk that I'm about to create. I'll choose next. Custom, we'll see that drive that we created and I'm going to install it onto that drive. Now this is dynamically expanding. So once I install the operating system and all the updates, it's not going to be a 60 gig file that I have. So I'm trying to make this file as small as I can. And matter of fact, before I sysprep, I'm going to go ahead and remove a bunch of stuff. Uh, just making sure the disk is clean, log files are off, etc just to create a small instance. So I'll go ahead and pause while it loads. So as you can see, it's done with the installation. It's installing features. It'll get past the updates here. I don't have it attached to any kind of update server and then it'll finish up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause while it finishes up and gets ready for its reboot. So there's the reboot. I'll go ahead and restart it and I'll come back once. I've installed the next step. It'll restart once or twice, depending, and then it'll ask me for an administrative password. Now, this would be normally the local password for the server, but I'm going to use something easy to remember because remember, I'm going to sysprep this and only use it as a copy. So I've got my password in and I'll go ahead and finish. It'll finalize the settings and bring up the machine. At this point, I can go ahead and log in to the machine. And since I'm going to sysprep it, I'm going to leave everything just as it is. I don't mind the computer name. All that stuff is going to be swiped from the machine, as they would say. But the next thing I will do is start the updates. To do that, I'm going to open up Server Manager in 2016 here and go to Local Server. And from there, you'll see the Windows Update section right here. So as soon as this refreshes, I can go ahead and install the updates. Now again, I'm not worried about any of the 
connections, any configurations, because I'm gonna sys prep this disk and then use it to create many machines. So, as you can see, it'll check for the updates. What I'll do is I'll pause the video and through each update, show you where it's at. So there's the updates, it's downloading now. So as you can see, it progresses nicely. Depending on your download speed and how many people are updating from Microsoft, this could take a while. This is one of the main reasons why we're gonna go ahead and build this master disk. And we're ready for our first restart. So we'll go ahead and restart and just continue this process until it says there are no more updates. So we've restarted and it is installing its first round of updates. So at some point after checking for updates a lot, you end up with this. So it'll go out and check for updates and come back and simply say, the system is up to date. So at this point, we know we've installed all the updates. Given that this is a new machine, there's not gonna be a ton of stuff that we can take out. You can do a disk cleanup, you can delete temp files, make sure that you do all that. Once we're done, we're just gonna come in here and run the sysprep tool by going to C, Windows. We're gonna find the system32 file. There it is. And we're gonna come down and find sysprep. In sysprep, we're gonna run the sysprep.exe, start it up. And then because I'm gonna capture this image and reuse it, I'm not gonna reboot, but I'm actually gonna shut down. I'll say okay, and the sysprep, sysprep process will run. And just that quick, our disk is ready to use.